Being the glutton for punishment that I am, I was immediately drawn to the 454 Casul when I'd read about them and the sizable recoil on the, the big game that's fallen to this particular cartridge, so I absolutely had to have one. Why? Because they kick hard. Does that make any sense? I guess in my twisted paradigm it does. Now, I also brought along another 454 Casul, but this one's by Magnum Research. It's a BFR. These are a little bit bigger, a little beefier than all of the other single action offerings out there. But they're built like tanks. And I gotta say, out of the box, these things are really accurate. They've got a match grade barrel. This is their new Bisley grip frame. Well, it looks kind of strange, like a banana, but this is a great, great grip frame, great angle for controlling recoil. And it really does control recoil well. You see, I've equipped this one with an Ultra Dot 4. It's a red dot type sight. These things are brutal. They can handle they can handle more recoil than I care to throw at them. That's why I put these things on a lot of these revolvers because they're really good. They're really great in low light. Maybe not traditional, but neither is stainless steel. Let's go shoot this one. Okay, I'm using a, a load by Federal Premium for the 454 Casul. It loads a 300 grain Swift A-frame, jacketed hollow point at a claimed 1,530 feet per second. I think they're going faster. I haven't chronographed them out of this particular gun, but in other guns that I've tested them in, they've actually gone faster than the claim. That said, these are really accurate and they're very terminally effective. I used this load in South Africa back in May and um, to, great, to great effect. And uh, it's, it's one of my, my favorite choices for a factory load.